Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. What's up, you guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here, coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here in my wonderful, unpredictable state. Now today guys we have drone about, drove about three and a half hours uh, through the mountains. We are in Bluff City, uh, Tennessee and we are here to see the famed Dinosaur Park of Bluff City, Tennessee. This is a creation of a gentleman and this is his backyard and now he has had some issues with uh, the community on zoning issues but quite honestly this thing brings in tourists and it brings in money in my opinion so without further ado you guys we're gonna get in here and we are going to explore dinosaur park dun, 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 dun. i'm gonna quit now we are starting out with our first dinosaur it is here on the outskirts of the park but this is a utah raptor and um, this is the Jurassic Park version. This thing stands about, I'm guessing, seven feet tall. And uh, gosh, I mean, even the gentleman who owns this place, he even, I mean, he describes a lot about the history about these dinosaurs as well. Let's go in, shall we? Donations in the guest book. Admission is free. Tours are self-guided. Photos and videos permanent. Do not touch exhibits. No unattended children. Eh, self-explanatory. Right as we walk in here, uh, right past the guest book, we have a little, little dinosaur. Not sure really what the name is of that one. But I really, really love the walk. Ugh, where are my words? The rock work in this. That's, that is really, really cool. Looks like we have ourselves some pteranodons here. Although, I would be quite scared of this thing. It's called the toothless wing. Uh, the flight uh, patterns of these, or I guess the wingspan of these guys could be up to like 20 feet. Or at least so what I'm reading from this, um, from this uh, slab here. And of course we have the cognix, or uh, where are my words today? The cognathuses. If you have watched Jurassic Park, uh, the second Jurassic Park, The Lost World, you will know that these guys mean business and they are quite mean. Okay, let's see what goes on through here. Oh dude, this is so neat. Now if you wanna know more of how uh, this gentleman makes his dinosaurs, it's very simple. He takes out the wooden base and he uses chicken wire to wrap around it and then he proceeds to fill it with uh, kind of like a fiberglass and uh, uh, styrofoam uh, epoxy. Apparently there is a T-Rex out here. So let's continue to take a walk back in time, shall we? Oh my goodness, dude! Check that out. And he's just way scary. I mean, just check this out, look. Look how big he is. Oh my goodness. I wish I could tell you how big this Allosaurus is. I mean, like compared to like the Stegosaurus right there, this thing is absolutely tall. And it's like he wants to eat me. You can't eat me. I'm too fat. I give you diabetes. But while we are looking at the Allosaurus, let's check out this dinosaur right here. This is a Hypsilod of Fadon. Anyway, I, I butchered that, but apparently he's like six foot long. And he's he's just hiding in the bushes there. And apparently this is a Suna, Pseudoceratops. Zunitops. I forgot the name exactly, but oh my goodness. That is so cool. I'm loving this, you guys. This is great. Huh. I wonder what's in this fossil findings. I mean, I really, really dig the uh, the rock work. Well, not really the rock work. I guess so much it would be a uh, <sighs> kind of like the mix between the fiberglass and the chicken wire and the wood. 
but honestly this this looks a lot like a uh, gift shop you guys we got the blue raptor so i guess really you don't have to go to um the you don't really have to go to uh, uh the jurassic park ride at universal to have a proper dinosaur experience so i guess in a way this is the gift shop that is a huge raptor and it's just there and looks like we've got various other products from jurassic park like i haven't seen that plesiosaur in a while i know that was a target exclusive the triceratops so it looks like this guy has a lot of uh like a lot of classic stuff and not so much classic but um this is quite impressive this is a really cool gift shop i mean that is a huge huge t-rex you know, thing is big so let's go back outside and let's see what else we can find shall we i know i've already seen him dinosaur park section two <sighs> looks like this is the raptor fence although that looks like a trailer I, I don't think that's part of the park so let's go where dinosaurs once what roamed the earth i've already said that once i probably shouldn't say it again but oh my god look at that oh my goodness dude i love the color and pattern in that check that out oh my goodness oh that is so neat although i don't want to mess with this sukumimus because he's just kind of standing there and he might jump down and and get me so don't do that that's bad if i'm reading this correctly this is called a stigma lock demon from the sticks huh honestly i wouldn't want to mess with his horns right there because that would hurt I think this is just a dig site. Yeah, yeah, it just looks like something you'd like kind of like dig through. Um, kind of looks like kind of like ground up mulch, I'm, I'm guessing. But check that out. That's that's all uh, that's all handmade from scratch. Well, let's see what what uh, where this takes us. It's kind of winding and all. Oh, what do you know? It's an Ankylosaurus. That would hurt if he stuck me with his tail. So if I'm reading this correctly, uh, this takes us, well, if we go to the left or the right, looks like if we go to the left, it'll take us out to all the, uh, the real enclosures and whatnot. And looks like this way just goes to the dig site. I think we're gonna go check out all three raptor encounter or pardon me raptor enclosure why do i feel like this is not gonna end well oh 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 there we go oh they they looks like they're kind of mad and one of them keeps yelling at me i don't know who I'm not sure if he's moving his head. Ooh, dang nature, you scary. And that's not really a, so I guess that's not, it looks more like an herbivore. But oh my goodness, this thing is gigantic. Yes, that is a brontosaurus. And honestly, that must have been a work and a half to get something that big. I mean, if you look at it, you got the tail right there and it just keeps going and going and going and going. It's just like there's no end to this greatness. This is so awesome. Looks like this guy's just kind of hanging out. And I wonder why this looks like a certain raptor. Oh, it's because it's blue, the raptor. That is so, so neat. I'm sorry, I'm just mind blown. This is way better than, than Universal Studios. 
I mean, just check this out. There are dinosaurs everywhere. I forgot what type of... Uh, I know it's some kind of triceratops. I know that for sure. And then, well, it looks like you've got... Looks like he's kind of mean. But, oh well. He's on this side of the fence and I'm on this. Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. And it looks like this big guy is a gigantosaurus. Which is probably going to be the new big dinosaur in uh, in the new Jurassic World Dominion. He big. And oh my god. <laughs> Underneath their, uh, their party shed. Look how big this spider is. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. So following from here, we have the mosaic trail. No, <laughs> the mesozoic trail. My bad. Looks like we have ourselves a, a, st a stegosaurus that's here to, uh, oh, what's the word? Here to uh, meet up with us. He looks like he's just enjoying himself. But this little guy like right here, he's he, he's got no chance. Again, side by side comparison, the size of me versus that. In the Mesozoic era, I would have no chance. I will be point blank. Looks like we got ourselves a Demetrodon. I know, every time I see him, I think of uh, or, uh, of uh, Spinosaurus. This is Welcome to the Mesozoic. There's a big giant snake. I don't like snakes, so we're going to keep on going from here. He looks like he's kind of caved on this situation. I'm sorry, that joke made no sense, but it looks a lot like a cave. This is an Australovinator. Australovinator? Look look at the quality and detail in that. In the eyes, too. That... That is high quality right there. I, um... I congratulate the man who did this. I mean, this is... This looks like straight up real. Alright, now, this trail goes back a little bit further... And what's this? This looks like the Spinosaurus. I wonder where it could be. Ah! But no, no, in all seriousness, the <laughs> he's big. That is a big giant Spinosaurus crashing through the fence. Like. I think this is probably one of my favorite ones yet. Oh, gosh. Okay, now as we're walking back on the trail, I noticed this one. This is an Amargosaurus. Or so anyway, long story short, I'm a huge fan of Jacob the Carpetbagger, and I remember when, uh, when he was talking with the owner and they were working on this one. This one's about, I think, about three years old. I take it this one's trying to get me, but no, nah, you can't get me. Besides, he, he couldn't pick me up anyway because um, I'd probably break his back. You know what? I guess this guy really has a bone head. Or maybe, just maybe, he's just, well, I, I ruined that joke. I ruined it. Can't take the joke back. Oh God, what is this abomination? No, nah, I'm just joking. He's, he's, he's actually pretty neat. It's like they have themselves some feathers, which I find it kind of interesting because it's like the more and more like archeology span like progresses, it's like the more we keep finding that uh, dinosaurs we're more bird-like than ever before. <laughs> this trail seems to go on forever. And it's like every, every turn we take, we find more dinosaurs. Even this guy right here. Looks like he's just kinda stepping on a rock. You're just getting a leg up. And I guess this is the equivalent of uh, a flying squirrel in the, in the mosaic era. It's a Ceratosaurus. 
Why y'all are probably sounding why or why I sound so uh, excited is because uh, at Disney's uh, or uh, Dinosaur Adventure, they have uh, one of these and it's eating something. But kind of looks like he's a little bit need of a paint job. So after we just now got done checking out the creatures or the dinosaurs of the Mesozoic, we're gonna check out the terrors of the deep. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is a giant Mosasaur. Dude. Well, not, pardon me, Plesiosaurus. There's a small replica, but not. Nah, that thing is absolutely gigantic. <laughs> so without further ado, let's let's get in here and let's check out the rest of this amazing <laughs> roadside attraction. I, I take it that's kind of like the uh, the Indominus Rex. And looks like this is a not a Tosaurus. I guess you could say he got nada out of life. Now I know when uh, when I first saw this, they had like it was originally covered over. I'm trying to figure out why they didn't or why it's not covered over. I think that just makes it. But you know what? It those things happen. There's like uh, two little uh, gutteracos, gutteracos. So let's continue to go down the winding hallways of of the past oh dude dude it's two plesiosaurs or two small plesiosaurs okay what else do they have an ichthyosaur and in the halls of the ichthyosaur we have ourselves a mosasaur and a shark but still that mosasaur is really really nifty so now that we have checked out the Moses or the Mesozoic Nature Trail, the Terrors of the Deep, and the Velociraptor Enclosure, let's check out the Day Fossil Dig site. And that is like the best thing ever. That Carnotaurus is absolutely brutalizing whatever is there. Looks like he's just kind of eating, eating another Carnotaurus. Dude, that's like so metal and so savage at the same time. But this right here kind of talks a little bit more about the Carnotaurus. Well, all right, you guys, this place has absolutely blown my mind. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get out of here. This has been, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This place cannot get any freaking better. Yes. Oh my goodness, you guys. This place is absolutely awesome. I highly recommend it. This puts Universal Studios, their Jurassic Park area, it puts all that to shame. This place is so awesome check it out when you can even if you are like three hours away from, like from, like i am this place is so awesome but anyway you guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon always means a lot goes to show that y'all care and y'all want to see more awesome content always means a lot to me so without further ado vlog over